this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. This will be very interesting to see if Andre Bishop is favoring that right hand because our video evidence clearly showed that he hurt that right hand. But the hand that you use probably 80, 90% of the time is the left hand. That's the lead hand, that's the setup hand. That's the jamming hand. His corner needs to tell him now there's nothing wrong with that hand. Oh, and there you go. Unable to survive that shot, he's on the floor. Bishop able to get back on his feet, but will he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Great hook to the head that time. Scores well to the head with the right hand. He nearly lifted him off the ground. What an uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. A stinging uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. See, this is where Andre Bishop carries that speed from his middleweight days forward. Even though he's a heavyweight now, you can see how quickly he can deliver that hook. Andre Bishop's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Nice. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. You can see how he's able to score with ease here. Now, he already scored a knockdown. You got to think more good things are coming his way. Yeah, well, what you like to see him do is the, maybe the greatest finisher of all time was Joe Lewis. You know, when he hurt a guy, as the guy was falling, he'd hit him about three, four, five, four short shots on the way down. He'd give him a gift. Here, take this with you. That's what he needs to do. And look at how much he's favoring things now. Utilizing the left hand punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Nice work. You're doing well. Okay, listen. Don't let him play on his feet. Keep moving forward. Keep him off balance. Okay, now come on. You can do this. You can do this. I need another round from you. I need another round. Bishop's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't like hope his legs there. onto him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place and the referee's going to stop and his opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test him out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head or do you use your bicycle? This is one of the most impressive gutsy displays we've ever seen out of Andre Bishop. Relax, it is relax. absolutely certain to me now that he hurt that right hand. He's completely a one-armed fighter right now, just utilizing that left against Meltzer Johnson. Bishop's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. Oh, God, hey, keep working the job. Meldrick Johnson showing good form with that right hand. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Uppercut. Uppercut. Able to bring the hook down low. 
Johnson's left, landing well. They both decide to bring it. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Don't walk into his punch. And now another left. Wow, what an uppercut. Excellent one-two by Johnson. Keep your distance. Come on, kid, focus. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Carissi stresses to Andre Bishop to control every second of the three minutes of a round. He did so in that last round. Yeah, and the way he did it was by controlling range. He's very good at making sure he's the master of distance. You have to double jab, Andre. Keep this guy away from me. You have to double jab. Double it. Relax, relax. You're doing great. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Good defensive skill. Nice job doubling up the jab by Andre Bishop. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Andre Bishop. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop. And here he's putting it to good use. Keep moving around the ring. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. Good job with another left hand. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Bishop's left now getting into the mix. Double jab upstairs. Nice! Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Punch! Punch! Targeting that head with the combination punching. Move your head! There's another left hand from him. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, count it. You need to throw more punches. The body, bang the body, hit that body. And here's a little insight we're getting from our ringside researcher. He says Keep that going. Andre Bishop actually had a previous injury to that damaged right hand. And get this, Teddy, it happened during his prison term. Double jab there by Andre Bishop. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. He's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just a faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. 
But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Nice solid left hand scored by Johnson. That is a sharp uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Andre Bishop, with only his left hand as his real weapon, just isn't landing it at all. They're not focused. Not much action as he just ties up. Andre Bishop's left working well that time. Really brought it that time. A four-punch combination. A solid uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Bishop's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Right back to the work up top. Keep your head moving. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Good fighting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. Very good, productive round from Andre Bishop. He can build off of that. Yes, he can, and he will build off of it because you can see his confidence is mounting round by round. Where is it written that you need to win a fight with both your left and your right? Bishop is doing a beautiful job of boxing well, moving, and sticking that left hand and scoring. Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really nice. finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're you jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. And there it is, coming with the jab by Johnson. Andre Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Johnson's trying to find a way to survive. The way he's doing it right now, he's holding on. He's clinching his opponent. And they work on it, just like you do in other sports. I mean, football, you work on a goal line defense. This is his goal line defense, making sure no touchdown is scored. Or no more punches come. Combo lands to the head. He comes back with the left hand again. And he ties up on the inside. Very precise double jab by Johnson. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Just a dominating evening by Andre Bishop tonight. He is clearly up big on the scorecards. Trainer Gus Carissi has to know it. You can just see by the way he's dealing with him in between rounds. He knows it, and he can go two ways with it. Get the rounds out, work on things, carry him a little bit, or go close to show. Here we go, action to start the seventh round. Good flush shot upstairs. Bishop's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Another plus shot up top. Good job in there. Let's go. And now another left. Doubling up the jab by Andre Bishop. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Get in there. Good uppercut by Meldrick Johnson.
Good job with another left hand. Doubles up the jab to the head. Let it go. Cover up, cover up. Good doubling up of the jab by Andre Bishop. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Johnson's got those earmuffs on. He's got his hands tight against his body. But, Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. At this point, Andre Bishop can just put it into cruise controls. Yeah, they have that choice. They can go into the prevent defense and coast home, or they know the business, and Gus knows the business. They want to be an attraction. He could say, go out there and finish. Make people talk about you when they're leaving this arena. Final round here of what has been a night where Andre Bishop has been in total command of his opponent. You just don't want to slip on a banana peel now or on a right hand. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. Two good jabs by Andre Bishop. There's another left hand That's from him. It. Great combo! There you go! Good job, Johnson stunned and he is hurt. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Solid. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. <gasps> Moving. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Right on the mark with the hook up top. He comes back with the left hand again. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster. But you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. Andre Bishop as a challenger. I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? It's your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,